بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سورة سيد المدد أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأول الأمر منكم This is uh, a continuation of what we were discussing before So we explain about these 12 different uh, characteristics is not Tahir? He was asked, the Grand Sheikh was asked from his son, as a son, and when that Grand Sheikh of the big Grand Sheikh, one of the big ones, he, when he was coming to his end of his life, what Allah gave him of life, He was giving a sound like someone feeling uh, sick. Yaun anin. Morning. 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 Of uh, what he is in that situation, and his son asked him, "Oh, my father, what?" What part of your body you have pain? And uh, that what he said. When, oh my son, when death comes, all the body ache. You might see people today, suddenly, in one second, they passed away. It doesn't mean they didn't have an ache. They, they have the, that moment that in your eye is a moment, in your eyes is a moment, but in the eyes of the one who, the deceased, might be hours, might be days. Allah stretched it. Quran Shaykh, may Allah bless his soul. Always he used to say that Allah gave, gave every human being of age 137 years. So, Mu'min's believers, when they die, Whatever year they reach, let's say 80 years they reach. The balance of 80 to 137, how many years? 57? 57 years. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will stretch the, the minutes that we see that this person is giving his soul out that seconds or minute that he is giving or she is giving her breath out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stretch it up to 137 years that person will if he is a believer will be living in complete complete ubudiyah in complete worshipness day and not night as if he dedicated out of his life 57 years in full worshipness if he died at 80 and the balance is 57 years means these minutes that we think that it is minutes or seconds because last breaths are the seven breaths that prophet ﷺ mentioned when someone is giving he's not taking in anymore he is giving out seven Seven, they are coming out, no in, no breathing in, only breathing out. These seven uh, uh, breaths out, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will stretch them, the balance of the age of the 137 years. And that person will be in full ubudiyah, 
full worshipness in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, full belief in Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam, full belief in, in awliyaullah, fulfilling completely sharia in the balance of these years, and he go from this dunya with the reward of these years that in our eyes, those who are looking might be one minute or one second, but in the eyes of the deceased are going to be a paradise for him. So everyone will be shaking at that moment because he is between the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that picture that he is seeing there, whatever Allah is showing him, he's, he's, he's frightened, so his body ache, aching as uh, Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul one time, explained that he said for Allah has given a speciality, speciality for those who are on the Naqshbandi Sufi order. He give others different special specialities. But for for the line that Mawlana is speaking about, for the genealogy of sheikhs reaching to Prophet وسلم, he said our murid we had a, a promise from Prophet وسلم, that Allah promised him that these, those who took their secrets through this line because they are informing one another as time is passing and the Grand Sheikh said may Allah bless his soul that in his last seclusion that secret opened to him that Allah has special gave a speciality to the students of that golden chain that we are connected to that when Israel alayhi salam is sent to take the soul of that student of that person, he will show him his hand. Israel will show him his hand, and on it written by light words from light written Allah. So when that murid see that name, beautiful name. His soul jump directly from his heart, connecting with the with that light. In and is like as Prophet said, uh, the soul of a believer is like how it goes out of his body, is like a hair in ghee. How you take the hair in ghee so easily, because it's in in a soft product element so the believer his heart is soft his body is soft his soul will be taken without any problem but still there will be a shaking from that worry what am going to happen to me now my my time is coming might i am in that time i'm going to be punished or i'm going to be saved that situation still is there, that's why the body shake. So he said to his, his son, oh my son, all my body is shaking. Except my heart. My heart is the, with the one that always I remember. My heart is in Allah's presence. My heart is there. I'm receiving that light. But my body belongs to earth. Is shaking, but my soul is not. Why my heart is not shaking? Is not feeling any ache? 
Because how you feel ache when you are with the one who is, you are the one that you love. My heart is the one who owns it, with the one who owns it. That's why my heart doesn't ache. It is in that presence. Oh, my son, the most important for you in this dunya is to make sure that you eat halal and you drink halal. Don't eat anything that is haram and don't drink anything that is haram. Rasul Ma'asi al Haram. The head of every sin is what? Is what is prohibited. What is prohibited is what makes you to be a sinner. And Rasul Pa'a and the head of obedience is Al Halal. The head of obedience is what's being ordered to us to follow and to do. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us two ways as Prophet sallallahu said. Al Halal ubayin wal haram ubayin. Halal you can see, haram you can see. Don't try to say I'm not seeing. No, you are seeing. If you do something wrong, Say istighfar immediately in order that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you. Halal is there. It's not only halal. What today is saying halal is only about food. It's part of it. Today they say to you, oh, don't eat this, don't eat this, this is haram. It's not halal, isn't it? It's not only that is the halal. Halal is everything. Every behavior you behave in this life, either it is halal or it is haram. Growing a beard, is it halal or haram? Halal. For men, if they don't have a beard, is it halal or haram? Didn't answer. Well, we cannot say haram. It's those who doesn't have beard, they might have beard from inside. So those they don't have beard, we cannot say it's haram. We cannot say it's halal. We say they are not following the sunnah. But they are not, they will not get a sin. So you, you have to distinguish. So if you see someone with no, with no beard, don't say you are doing haram. No. You are not following the sunnah of Prophet If you see someone has a beard and someone doesn't have a beard, don't say this man who have a beard is better than the one who has no beard. Might be the one who has a beard, might be he's making it for to look nice. Allah knows the heart. There are many people, you go to Far East, they don't have beard. Because it doesn't grow. In Southeast Asia, people don't have beard. It, it doesn't grow. You saw them? You know them. You saw them. Yeah. They have no beard. They like to have beard, but it doesn't grow. Their skin is like that. Their genes is like that. They don't have hairy genes. So we have to make sure what is halal, what is haram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us mind to understand. He's advising his student son. He's saying, Aklul haram you meet al kalb. If you eat anything haram, what's the mean me eat anything haram? Is not eating uh, uh, is not eating meat that is not slaughter only. Means you eat anything, it means you do anything haram. And you eat something that from money 
that you have cheated. Uh, what happened? You meet him, Kalb. Make the heart dead. If we want that our heart to be in the presence of Prophet وسلم, and Allah open to us, must we must have all our amal, all our actions must be in the way of halal. Cannot be on the way of shaitan, might be in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَكْلُ الْحَلَالِ يُحْيِي If you eat haram, if you do something wrong, people, they are living on others. You know what is tufayli? Tufayli. Parasitic. Parasitic. <laughs> you know parasitic? Tahir? What's a parasitic? Something that lives inside another creature takes from the food that they eat. Yani they, they live on the other by sucking his blood. We are called in Arabic to file. Means he doesn't know, do anything. He goes to people, try to deceive them. One after one, one after one, one after one. When he finish with this group, he go find another group. When he finish with that group, go find another group. That is what? To fight you. Is what? Parasitic. He lives like that. He's lazy. He doesn't want to do anything. He wants only people to give him and live on them. He doesn't want to be active. He doesn't want to be productive. Only conspiring uh, making fitna here and then we make f confusion in this group then go to these two three people make another confusion there make this group against this group so now he will be the good one come I will solve the problem between you so that's that is a parasitic don't be parasitic that is haram but in any case if you fall into this problem or any haram problem, what you need to do, to do? He said immediately, eat halal. Means repent. Repentance will rejuvenate the heart. Whatever become dead, rotten, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rejuvenate. Don't oh, say, oh, I, how I can. Cannot. When Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, the angels came and they gave him good tidings about uh, having children, he said, how? And, and uh, Sayyidina Jibreel showed him a, and to Zakaria, Sayyidina Zakaria also the same thing. A, 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 dead, a dead stick and he said how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rejuvenate this Allah will rejuvenate you and your wife to give children because they were over 100 and two branches two green uh, leaves came out you are in agriculture sometime you you see a dead tree dead, dead branch you planted sometime it comes out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his kudra, his power. Allah can rejuvenate anyone's heart. Don't say, oh, I did a lot of mistakes. There is no way, possibility for me to, for Allah to open my heart. No, in one, one moment, Imam Ghazali, one moment when he was doubting everything, he is the, one of the biggest scholars today. He was doubting everything about Allah and Allah creation, about creation of this universe and so on. And suddenly he was writing and a flea came, black, black fly, came on his ink and drinking. It came to his heart that moment. Oh, Allah created me as they say. He is like that. For, for
for sake of Prophet And Allah created that fly for sake of Prophet, that her drink until quench her thirst. With that Allah opened to him. With that rahmah, with that mercy that at that moment was coming down, Allah opened to him. We don't know when Allah will open. That's why awliya Allah, they say, Ajallul karamat, dawam al tawfiq. You might say, I am following in this tariqah for 20, 30 years, I didn't see anything. No problem. Might we? It is written for you that you are going to spend in this tariqah 31 years in order to Allah open for your eyes. You spent 30 years and 900 and 30 years and, and 364 days. You missed one day. It's gone. Your chance is gone. That day which was written that Allah's tajalli, Allah's blessings, the manifestation of the mercy is going to manifest on you, you miss it. Then you lose. Repeat. That's why they said, Ajalul Karama, Dawam Tawfiq, the best of miracles of, for human beings, because human beings cannot have miracles. They call it Karama in, Arab, in Arabic. Only Prophet has Mu'ajiz of miracles. But the best of Karama means, like a miracle, is to keep continually constant on your, on your belief. Don't stop it. Continually do. You increase, you, you will op your heart will open or doesn't open, you don't look at that. Look only, Ya Rabbi, I am doing this for your love. Ya Sayyidi, Ya Rasulullah, I am doing this for your love. Ya Sayyidi, Ya Sultan al I am doing this for your life. Love, that's what you need to do. That is our job. Other than that, it's not in our hands. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rejuvenate our hearts back and prepare us for the day of death. Don't think these meetings are going to go for free, for nothing. No. You are coming, crossing distances, crossing borders, crossing countries. You are coming, visiting Grand Sheikh, visiting Maulana Sheikh, going to Cyprus or to Grand Sheikh to Damascus, or you're coming here. That is not like what you are, as if you are sitting at home and doing uh, uh, your things from the Zawiya that you are in or belongs to in your own area. Coming here, crossing all these difficulties, facing all these problems, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and the rewards will be written for you, you cannot imagine. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is coming from Mawlana Sheikh now that anyone who comes and decide to come, always to come for the love of Allah and Prophet and Grand Sheikh crossing borders coming from different states, coming, taking all these difficulties, Allah will put an angel always, always on his behalf. If next week cannot come, that angel will be present and that angel will be doing what that person should have, should, should, should do and represent him in this, this association and whatever that angel is worshipping and listening and praising will be written for that person who did not appear. That is given to Allah in their associations. Don't think that this association is only for us here. Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, he said, as soon as I open my mouth to speak, all awliya around the world, all jinn around the world, they have headsets. And they are obliged to listen to what I am saying. That 
been granted to Grand Sheikh and he passed it to Maulana Sheikh. When Maulana make a sohba, everyone has to be awliyaullah and jinn has to be attending from their dist far distances. They are listening, it's like radio or like today internet. They are brought live broadcast. They can see and they can hear. Sayyidina Umar 1400 years ago is the example when he was seeing Saria with the army in, 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 Madi in, in Sham and he was in Medina and he was speaking with him. So Awliyaullah can s speak with everyone. So don't think that this association, as soon as we mention Grand Sheikh's name or Maulana Sheikh's name, Nazim name, and that authorization is being granted to us from Grand Sheikh and Maulana Sheikh Nazim, that meeting, everyone around whom are assigned to be listening, they are going to put, put their headsets and listen to the sohbah. Like such sohbah you are coming, you are not coming for pleasure. You are traveling and wasting your time but this time is not wasted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be granting you from his endless mercy and prophets from his endless mercy and our shiuch from the mercy that comes to them from prophet. They are blessings. Our meetings and our uh, situations will be better and we will be more nearer day after day, day after day to them. He said, oh my son, be careful of what you are, as we said before, what you are eating. Because halal food, spiritual food, in zikrullah, or normal food, will take you, will allow you, will allow you, if your food is halal and you make dua on it and you eat it or your spiritual food when you do your zikr your heart is connected with your sheikh to prophet from prophet to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that for sure will take you to akhirah that will take sure to disconnect you from dunya that yushghiluka bil akhirah wa yuhabbib ilayka ta'at it will make you happy and busy with Akhirah and make you more loving to obedience, more loving to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks you to do. It's very simple. Your boss at work asks you to do this book. Can you say to him, I want to, show, to do this mattress? Uh, what happened? Will fire you from his presence. No more work, ya Allah. Cut his salary. E Allah is saying to us, do this. So we listen to what Allah is saying. Or we listen to what Iblis is saying. It's very simple. We don't think like that. It doesn't, when we do something wrong, it doesn't come to our mind like that. So Allah is saying, pray five prayers. We pray three prayers. We miss two prayers. Why you miss two prayers? Then you listen to shaitan to miss two prayers. Allah saying five prayers. If you say I want to pray six prayers and you pray five prayers, you didn't do something wrong, you are still okay because the sixth prayer is going to be nothing. It's going to be uh, sunnah, voluntarily. You will not be written that you missed it 
But if you do four prayers, then you are missing means then shaitan is playing with us and shaitan making us to listen to him and not listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These very small, very small advices here, two, two words, two words, two words, or one line, but the meaning, you can put books on that, on these meanings. He is advise, advising his son, telling him what he, he has to do. وَالطَّعَامُ halal يُقَرِّبُ قَلْبَكَ مِنَ الْمَوْلَى And the halal food that you eat make your heart more nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why then we are going, why we want to eat haram food? Haram food will take away us from Allah's presence. Halal food will take us to Allah's presence. As a body, let's say, you eat an Islamic way of food, meat, slaughtered Islamically. There is one meat piece here, similar piece, not slaughtered Islamically. Both of them in front of you. If you eat from the one that you, you Islamically slaughtered, you get energy, isn't it? If you eat from the one not slaughtered Islamically, you get energy. Both of them the same. But that one that is not Islamically has no nur in it. No light in it. No when you eat it, it will take you away. It will make your heart rude, tough, angry, give you all kind of uh, bad characteristics. But that one that is halal and you are eating, there is light in it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that light will take all these bad characteristics from your heart. So both of them, they look the same. But one, erase the bad characteristic, destroy them, has a laser in it, <coughs> power. The other one has that power, is that. But it gives you power to live. But it is that, there is no, there is no function from it to destroy the bad desires that is within us. That is an example. So every amal we do, you don't see the benefit of it. You pray, you don't see the benefit quickly, but you can see the benefit in Akhirah. Or you can see the benefit when you die. Or if you are so pious, you can see the benefit in your life, because Allah will open for your eyes. As Prophet said in the Holy Hadith, that as long as my servant approaches me through voluntary worshipness, I will love him. When I love him, I will be his eyes that he can see with maybe his ears that he can hear with, I will be his tongue he can speak with, I be his hand that he can sense with, I will be his feet that he can walk with. You see, you, 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 you don't see this. Allah, what he is saying, Mazala Abdi, he still, my, my servant is still and continuously, constantly worshipping, worshipping me through Nawafil, I will give him this openings, visions and hearing and also, all this. But in reality, when you were worshipping, you were not seeing the benefit that you were going to get in the future. That's why more worshipping, more nearer you will approach to, to the time of uh, opening for your hearts. That's why many people come to me and say, oh, we're seeing this vision, we're seeing that vision, we're seeing that vision. Because they are Close, closer than others through their worshipness, through their love, through their uh, 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 generosity, through whatever they have, they are giving in Allah's way. But from a dead eye, a blind eye, now to, uh, today we are blind eyes. We cannot see. We see this 
We are praying, we are praying, we are praying, we are not reaching anywhere. No, you are reaching. You are closer to your destiny. Closer to the point which Allah has written for you that you will be given your trust, but you have to follow. You cannot stop. That's why summa amanu, summa kafaru, summa amanu, summa kafaru. Means one day you are doing wrong, or do, correct, one day you are doing wrong. Kufr here doesn't mean you are outside of Islam. No, kufr here means you do something wrong. One day you do something, you are on Sirat al-Mustaqim, you are okay. One day you are falling into mistakes. So when we fall into mistakes, we have to repent. So, in summary, is that don't say I'm not seeing. No, you are seeing. Like you have this book. They say to you, this is a nice book. Inside all the pictures of your house in paradise. Or the picture of your house that they are going to give to you as a gift. But you need to open it. And the key, you have to find it. So what you do? You look for the key or not? You don't say, you cannot say, I'm not looking for the key. You have to run after the key until you find it. It's for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I gave you the heavens and earth for you. I gave you seven paradises. I gave you this universe. If you are Allah saying, you want to go penetrate from this universe up to heavens, you can do that, but you need a, a sultan, a key. A key to do that. You need a sultan, you need a power, you need a vehicle. And Allah gave us the vehicle. What is the vehicle? Mahabbatak ya Rasulallah. Your love ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What that? But when what he said to Prophet? He said, why, why, why it's long travel? What you want for the day of resurrection? Why you are asking about the day of resurrection? It's long travel, what you have prepared. He said, Mahabbat Akya Rasulullah. I said, okay, take it. This is the book for you, ready. Imam Ghazali, they gave him the book, they opened. He went into Mi'raj. He went into understanding this ascension of Prophet Sallallahu He became the biggest uh, Sufi person. So they are giving you the book and say, okay, this is for you, take it. No, I don't want it. I will take it, but you get me the key. Like what they said to Sayyidina Musa. إِذْهَبْ أَنْتَ وَرَبُّكَ فَقَاتِلَا إِنَّا هَهُنَا قَاعِدُونَ When he said, Sayyidina Musa, to, we have to go against Fir'aun. What they told him? Go, uh, you and your Lord, your Creator. إِذْهَبْ أَنْتَ وَرَبُّكَ Look what kind of, what kind of humiliation. It will go and do with your Lord. I mean, is it, it is not our Lord. It's you, your God that you speak about. You go with him. You fight. We are waiting for you here. When you finish, we come. So this is what we are doing today. You say, okay, okay. We have our Rad, we have Tariqa, we have our Sheikh. Okay, our Sheikh, you, my Sheikh, you are our Sheikh. We took Bayah with you. You go do on us everything, and we are waiting until you give it to us ready. What he will say to you? Huh? I cannot say, it's a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> but you can imagine what he, can, he will tell you. He will say something. What you you cheating? You are you are dealing. You are not dealing with a president. You want to cheat a president? Still easy. Cheat a minister? Easy cabinet. You cheat an imam is okay. Easy, but cheating Allah Subhanahu wa Taala? How it's easy? He's telling you you are going to cheat Allah. How? Cheat his prophet? How? 
اذهب انت وربك فقاتل انها هنا قاعد go with your god fight فرعون we are waiting for you here okay waiting happy you take the all the what you say the stress the difficulties you take it we are sitting until you finish come to us we go to we go to take over take over what no at that time i don't need you I don't need you. He left them with his brother, Sayyidina Harun, and he went up to the mountain for seclusion, Sayyidina Musa. He came back, what he saw them doing? Worshipping what? The golden cow. The golden cow. What happened? I left you already, Mu'min. Now you are worshipping golden cow. They said, what? Why? They said, we saw this man is uh, making cow was talking and doing all kinds of different things. We followed him. Like, I left you already on Iman. I, I only turned my eyes a little bit. You did behind my back all, everything wrong. This is our story also. They tell us, you want your amanat, your trust, you are coming, you are uh, spending time, you are going, visiting. Alhamdulillah, that you will be rewarded for it for sure. You will be, angels will be in your places, you will be as, as if written for you. Continue that way. But what we do, we go, go one day like that, when the sheikh turns his face, we do something else. Or, you are not cheating the sheikh, sheikh. What he can do, he is like you also. You are cheating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and direct us. These are small, small uh, wisdom. It's, uh, it's uh, some kind of uh, wisdoms that uh, awliya Allah they put in front of their students only to to learn. Not everything I they have to speak about angels and how paradises and jinn and make people. No, they, we need some principle, basic technique, techniques in order at least to follow the easy, the simple way of understanding of spirituality that Sharia came with. Not everything that some other People, they say, oh, Sheikh can take care of it, this Sheikh, I don't know. oh, now the Tajalli, open the skies, opened as many representatives, they say, now the skies opened and all these angels are coming to this meeting and making it so dramatic that uh, all saints are gathered here and looking at you and for what? What's going to be the benefit? The benefit is how to build the student to go one step about after one step climbing the ladder one 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 to reach up and they reach their trust to give them a shovel and tell them dig and dig and dig and dig until you get your trust there are ways there are ways that by Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim you get immediately your trust. There are ways if Awliya Allah permit one secret word a code you mention that way he can open the heart of all his students to reach their trust in one second. But where is the permission? You need the permission. In Tariqa, nothing can be done without permission. Always awliya Allah waiting permission from Prophet ﷺ to give to the hearts of their students. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be from these students that awliya Allah will give us 
will open to, to our hearts immediately. But not everyone will get that. So what we have to do? We have to do it, follow the normal way. On our normal way, we might find a lot of oases that we can sit and enjoy and happy and get our trust slowly, slowly. Some, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his, his way is like that. Either by hiba or by amal. Either by grant, he will give. Without you do anything, Allah grants. Or you do something, Allah gave. Two ways. Hiba is rare. Not for everyone can be granted by grant. But everyone can be given by gifts. By gifts. By, by action. By amal. So in an association, you have hundreds and thousands of people. None of them can be granted immediately. <coughs> but you have to speak to the general audience, not only to that one between the whole thousands. Might be one there can be given and his heart is open immediately. You don't know in every association the sheikh is giving his lecture, the wali is giving his talk. Might be between the people who are sitting, thousands and thousands, without you knowing on the hearts of some of these people, their hearts are opened and their secrets are given. You cannot see that. They see that. The Sheikh can see that. So Awliya Allah can see that because they are giving it. But that doesn't mean you will not get it. You get as the other one get, but still there is a veil. When that veil open, then you can see you are there. Because Prophet ﷺ is mercy for all. He will give all the same. Awliya Allah, they have to give all the same. That's why Grand Sheikh said, when, I, uh, when they gave me Irshad, I said, I will take Irshad if my students who are sitting with me and listening to me will be in the same level I am in. Or if I speak about any wali, they have to be in the level of that wali. But you cannot see it. They can see it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us to see what they have given us. ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الفاتحة Everyone has been given Everyone has been given something to his heart Everyone in a different way But they are in the same level to the Sheikh He loves them all the same But everyone has been given something Don't think that their Presence, you cannot get anything. No, with Maulana's presence, presence, you get a lot of things. With the presence whom he has authorized from Grand Sheikh authorization, or he has authorized from himself in real authorization, not as today you can count thousands of representatives creating fitna between each other. If a real authorization, they can give. May Allah forgive us. May Allah bless us. Hurmat al-Habib, Hurmat al-Fatiha.